Thank you for joining me. I just wanted to share uh, my this year's uh, Christmas card with you. It's based on my cat Felix, and he's a bit of a rascal. He's 21 years of age now. Um, this is a a cheeky photograph where he he couldn't be bothered. He he's very relaxed, and I thought this make a nice painting. So here's my sketch, very simply done. I've scanned it into my computer and then the idea of that is that I can resize it to any size I want. And I've worked out the size of my Christmas cards. So it's sort of based on the, the 8 by um, 12 format. Obviously it'd be reduced in size for my Christmas cards. So I've transferred the sketch to my watercolour paper and I've soaked the paper in in a bath of water for about 10 minutes and I've stapled it to my board. Now the first job we've got to do is mask out um, the, the whiskers. I'll begin the initial washes and uh, they're burnt sienna uh, or burnt umber with um, ultramarine blue and a little bit of Alice in Crimson mixed and between the burnt sienna and the burnt umber you can get different shades of brown to black but we don't want pure black because we can see the different shades in the, in the coat from the photograph if, if it was if we do say lamp black it would be very very dull and we we like to keep, we want to keep it lively I put some masking fluid on the bobble to preserve the the white and uh, some some round the hat. I want to preserve the the white of the hat. Let that dry and and then uh, paint it in the the pore. I've rewet the the face and I've dropped in some stronger tones of the burnt sienna, burnt umber mixed with ultramarine blue, with a little dash of. I was in crimson. I've uh, let that dry and then started painting the, the hat and I've used uh, cadmium red and where the shaded parts are dropped in some ultramarine blue. I've dropped some more darker tones into the the, the, the body and the, the pore. Um, the, I've done it with a, a smaller brush so that uh, you get starting to get the feeling of, of fur. Um, drop some paint into the into the nose and uh, there's a cheeky little black uh, stripe where his his lip is. Uh, it gives him a nice cheeky grin. I've strengthened the tones on the hat using cadmium red and continuing to strengthen up the tones on, on the face and you can see I'm using a fine brush and it's the, the fur is beginning to look very nice. I've strengthened up the tones on the nose and the lip and I'm just starting to paint the colour of the eyes and I've used cadmium yellow. I keep building up the tones, I've strengthened the, the colour in the eyes, I've added the pupils, uh, there's uh, dark accents in the hat uh, to make the, 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 the white band stand out. Um, there's some pink around the nose and, and the lips and there's a little bit of pinkiness it were the in the ears starting to to paint a tail and uh, leaving it a little bit browny on the top side I've put in the the background and for this I've initially used uh, mixtures of uh, arelin and uh, cadmium yellow very very pale I've let it dry and for the shapes of the flakes and the stars, 
I've used uh, masking fluid. Let that dry and then go in again with some uh, more yellows. Uh, with the Aurelian and Cadmium yellow I've used Indian yellow and raw sienna. And uh, there's a, a very mixture but they're very very pale washes. For the shading in the, the hat band and, and the bubble uh, it's just simply uh, Alison Crimson and Ultramarine Blue. I've rubbed off the masking fluid for the whiskers and where it needs it I've used white gouache uh, for some extra uh, uh, hairs and uh, just outline uh, little bits in the ears and, and around the face. And uh, I've strengthened up the, the foreground slightly. Well, that's the end of my demonstration, and I hope you've enjoyed it and have uh, gives you the inspiration for you to have a go with your own uh, composition. Thanks for watching. Have a very happy Christmas.